parking lot Get me, get me out Not teen, so mean Lips that sting like Queen Frostine She's got an icy disposition She looked back and told me That she was smoking carbon black I said I'll see you in the green room Do you understand? I, I'm not ready. We can talk about this, right? I'll give you anything you want. I, I got meth, a bag of meth out of my car, my Camaro. You can have that too. Whatever you want. What am I going to do with drugs or money or a car? How, how about my soul? You, you can have my soul. I've already got your soul. Hey, dumbass, why don't you grab me a beer? What kind of beer? Don't worry about it, any kind. on the border. It's right smack dab on the fucking line. Bobby was supposed to be dead two minutes ago in a car crash. Hey, can I help it if he decided to stay behind? That's enough of your shit. He only stayed because you made him stay. I mean, what am I gonna do? Report the guy? What good's that gonna do me? They'll just replace him with some gung-ho newbie who'll go all over everything. It'll be worse than it is now. And I kind of like things the way they are. So, that's where we're at. Gin and tonic. Now there's two. Look, this is what it is. I'm running behind this month. I need, I need a dumbass Bobby to make my quota. Cry me a river. We've all got quotas, man. Yeah, but you got the state capital. Lots of people dying over there. You don't think they take population into consideration? Management's got that all fucking figured into the formula. You know what? Sometimes I think it would be great to have a nice, quiet territory. Like yours. Sit down, Bobby. You're not going anywhere. Quiet territory. It's not quiet. It's slow. And it's a big territory. And, and, and travel is a bitch. And they haven't raised my fucking per diem in five goddamn years. Try having ambulances everywhere. Saving people that used to make the list. Oh, I got hospitals. It used to be when somebody got cancer, you could pencil them in on the calendar. Now, I got a goddamn 10-year to-do list. This strike talk, you know. We quit for a week or two, and maybe management will get the message. It ain't gonna happen. You think management won't bring in a bunch of scabs? And what happens to our retirement if we walk? It ain't but a few years till I'll be able to retire and get my miniature golden scythe and my annuity, and that's when the goddamn bastards will come after you. You think they would pay you what they owe you. Fat chance. But you can get around it, you know. Score a grave or two here and there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, there's that. Shit. Our contracts aren't worth the blood they're written in. Management can dump us whenever they want. We ought to be able to do something. Uh, you don't remember the golden years. World wars, epidemics, unsafe food and water. One waterborne bacteria, and you got your quota for the quarter. Quota for the quarter. That's what I said. You know, the rookies don't believe all of those stories. They think they're all myths. I mean, Black Plague? Really? That even sounds fake. You haven't been around as long as I have. I knew some of the guys that worked the wars. 
they could tell you stories that would make your mouth water. Souls just laying around waiting for the taking. And not just wars, there were ovens and poison gas. I talked to some of the guys. If I hadn't talked to them, I'd be a fucking skeptic too. Listen, I, I believe, for the most part, but we don't have anything like that anymore. <sighs> we got alcohol and automobiles and recreational marijuana. That's always good for a few points during annual review. Yeah, yeah, and we've got guns and we've got murder, even the occasional plane crash. But those don't happen every day. How many nursing homes you got? Not enough. And they're full of fucking doctors and nurses, keeping those old bastards alive. How are you supposed to get ahead in a place like that? You think they'll pass that assisted suicide law? That could open the spigot a bit. No, not since they nixed the death penalty. Now that used to be a nice little bonus. You know what pisses me off? Vaccines. I mean, what the hell is with vaccines? <laughs> they say this is a dead end job. <laughs> Forgive the pun. But what's next? A cure for cancer? I fucking hope not. Well, I gotta run. Time is short, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, me too. I got a message a little while ago. I got a car full of teenage girls that's about to get splattered by a truck driver who's texting a pic of his dick. <laughs> For you. Yeah, as long as some good Samaritan doesn't fuck it up. Hey, what about Bob? <laughs> you can have him. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. It's the last time. A one-time deal. I catch you poaching again, and you're going before internal review. I promise. No more poaching. Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Live long and prosper. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> I love Star Trek. You know what this bullshit? I'm done. Look, listen. I got a proposition for you. We've been through this. I know, I know. Hear me out, this is good. This is really good. So I, I listening to you guys' problem, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be around that long. No, I don't think you understand. I want to help you. Help you with your quota. Yo, you kill somebody and I spare you? Sorry, that doesn't help. I understand, but what if... What if it was like a half a dozen? I... Cook meth. I cook a lot of meth. <laughs> no shit. But I, I have a lot of customers. So, one bad batch, my customers, become your customers, comprende? Enlisting human assistance is against the rules. <sighs> Come on, who's gonna say anything? I'm not gonna say anything. Come on, just give me one day. One day, I cook, and uh, management, they, they think that you're uh, Grim Reaper of the Month. What do you say? That is a yes. <laughs> Sorry, can't afford to lose my pension.
Get me, get me out, out of this parking lot. Get me, get me out. Not mean, so mean. Lips that sting like Queen Frostine. She's got an icy disposition. She looked back and told me that she was smoking carbon black. I said I'll see you in the green room. Like Marvin Gaye, he's picking pebbles on his gravestone. Do you think they'll let me have like a preview? You know, like a movie trailer. You know, one of heaven and one of hell. That way, I can kind of see what I'm getting into. That's reasonable, don't you think? I'm kind of thinking hell. I'm leaning hell, just because. You know, even if there's a little bit of torture, I'm thinking that's really gonna have the good stuff. That'd be pretty cool. It's not like I'm tortured or anything already. GPS. Goddamn GPS. Those big boss men love that fucking GPS. They track you everywhere, and I mean everywhere. The other day I get some memo and asks me why I spend so much time in the crapper. I'm getting old. Things don't work the way they used to work. It don't take no fucking brain trust to figure that one out. So I'm a little late for an appointment. They act like the whole damn universe is gonna cave in because somebody lives a few extra seconds. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so this is like the worst night of my life. You know, I mean, if you're listening to them, it's like the last night of my life, I guess. It's not like I haven't heard that before but now I have to bargain with death? You think uh, he'll listen to reason? I don't know. Whatever. What? It's not gonna mow itself. See through the crowded dance floor